Germination is the process by which the embryo within the seed develops to form a new plant when there is favorable environmental conditions. In this lecture, we are going to talk about all the conditions that are necessary for germination. Now, for germination of seeds to take place, we must ensure that the embryo within the seed is alive. Now, what are the different uh, characteristics that the seeds have to keep the embryo alive? Let us see. The first priority is to provide protection. Just like we are protected inside the house, the seed protects the embryo inside. The next priority is food. Without food, no one can survive. So the embryo needs food as well. So seed provides the embryo food. See? The third essential thing which we require and without which no living organisms can live is oxygen. And that is the reason we have big windows in our homes to facilitate proper ventilation so that we can take in air rich in oxygen. So similarly, embryo needs oxygen as well and that is provided by the seed. And in turn, seed gets oxygen from outside. So why is oxygen necessary? Let us conduct two simple experiments and we'll find out the importance of oxygen. Let us perform this first experiment. If we put a few seeds on a wet cloth and put a test tube of pyrogallic acid inside the conical flask, then after one day, we'll see the seeds do not germinate. This is because pyrogallic acid has a property of absorbing all the oxygen of the air. Now, if we conduct another experiment in which seeds are kept on a wet cloth and a test tube of water is kept inside the conical flask which do not have any property of absorbing oxygen, then after one day we'll see that the seeds germinate. So from here we can conclude that oxygen is essential for germination. If there is no oxygen, germination won't take place. Like in the case of this experiment. Because pyrogallic acid was absorbing all the oxygen present inside the conical flask, the seed did not get any oxygen. So in turn, the embryo did not get any oxygen for germination. And hence, there was no germination. This is the reason why farmers plow the field. When they plow the field, they actually aerate the soil. By aeration, I mean this process facilitates the supply of oxygen to the seeds that have been sowed on the soil. If the seed gets oxygen, then in turn, the embryo gets oxygen from the seed and germination can take place. So, for survival of the embryo, protection is required, food is required by the embryo and oxygen is required. Now, why do you think farmers irrigate their fields 
after spreading seeds? Well, let us conduct two simple experiments and we'll find out the importance of irrigation. In the first experiment, if we keep a few seeds on a cloth and water the seeds, then after two days, we'll see that germination has taken place. See? Yes, indeed, germination has taken place. Whereas, if you keep a few seeds on a cloth and you don't water the seeds and you keep this in a flask for two days, then you see that no germination has taken place of the seed. From here, it is clear that water is absolutely essential for germination. Without water, seeds cannot germinate. Now, why is water so essential for germination? Well, if you keep a few dry raisins in a glass of water, in the next few hours, what you will see is that the raisins have swollen up and it starts floating on water. It has swollen up because it has absorbed water and hence it looks all plump and it floats on water. Now seed absorbs water as well. It takes in water through the pore which is known as the micropyle. In fact, seeds take in water till they cannot hold any more water and they rupture. See? And when they rupture, the embryo which is present inside the seed, it comes out and it facilitates germination. So now we know the importance of water. Without water, actually no germination can take place. Now this is common knowledge that fruits and vegetables are season specific. Few vegetables like new potatoes are summer vegetables, that is they grow during the summer season and vegetables such as cabbage grow during the winter. So every seed has an optimum germination temperature. Let us again conduct two simple experiments. A few seeds were kept on a cloth and the seeds were watered. Now this cloth was kept in a jar for two days at room temperature. So after two days what we see is the seeds have germinated. Whereas in the next experiment we've kept some seeds on a cloth, we watered them but we kept the flask inside the refrigerator for two days. Now after two days when we take it out we see that the seeds have not germinated. So this is because seeds have an optimum germination temperature and this germination temperature varies from plant to plant. So germination took place when we kept it in room temperature for two days. But when we kept the same seeds in the refrigerator where the temperature is very cold, these seeds could not germinate. So germination is the development of embryo to seedling in favorable condition. So what is a seedling? Well, seedling is a stage in the growth of a plant before it has become wholly independent of food stored in it. So for germination, the embryo has to be protected, it needs to be nourished, it requires oxygen and it requires water and optimum temperature for proper germination.
a human embryo stays in the mother's womb for 9 months before it is born so does the plant embryo grow into a seedling in one day no it takes a few days for uh, an embryo present in the seed to develop into a new seedling this time that is required is known as the dormancy period so seed dormancy is the total time period after maturation during which a seed will not germinate even if provided with all the conditions necessary for germination now if you've noticed you'll see white structures come out from the gram seeds when soaked in water why is it so well this is because the gram seeds have embryo inside and when this embryo gets all the favorable conditions like water oxygen and proper temperature they germinate to form a new plant so the white structures that you see are nothing but a new plant that is germinating from the embryo